kind of try and clean it up and it just gets worse. So <laughs> I'm like, someone throw me a bone in the comments. Like maybe I'm just using all these tools wrong. I don't know, but it's just a mess. So, all right. So I've got this shot of Dom going to try to fill in these the background here with a couple different methods. I'm using the Adobe Photoshop beta. Um, to get the beta, you just go to your Creative Cloud app and you go down the left side in the menu, there's, you go to apps and then you go to beta apps and you'll find the Photoshop beta um, in there. You can download that and it will run alongside of your regular Photoshop. So you can have the two versions uh, installed. So. Um, the first thing, what I want to do is clean this up. Now, obviously I could crop in, right? But I'm just experimenting here. Let me go ahead and do a little crop just to straighten it out because it's my OCD is just kicking in. Um, that's fairly good there. Now, again, like I said, I could crop in and get rid of a lot of this stuff that's around the edges, but I'm experimenting here. And, you know, you see the little speed edits and things like that. I see them on Instagram and I see shorts where they come in and maybe they get a selection tool and they come in here and they kind of do this like this and they go right around the subject just like this and then they right click they select inverse so just the background is selected and then they just do like a content aware fill shift f5 just like this and they hit okay and it just magically looks perfect almost right and i would say that the magically looks perfect happens maybe 20% of the time. So they're not doing you any favors because you get this kind of crap uh, with Photoshop. You know, maybe I widen this selection a little wider. Maybe it won't do that. Um, but when they do, they post those things and they do maybe a little cleanup at the end and it never looks that clean. Like in my experience, it never looks that clean. It's So they're not doing you any favors because when you try it, it doesn't work. You get like what I just did. So maybe... Uh, I change the selection and maybe I make it, you know, a little bit and I'm not even getting into the new like AI stuff yet. You know what I mean? I'm just trying the, the traditional methods here that we've all seen. I'm going to select the inverse. So just the background is selected. I'm going to do shift F5, which is just edit, uh, in the menu. It's just edit and then, uh, fill. Um, I could do content or fill too, but just fill is shift F5, hit OK. And let's see what it does this time because I gave it a little more gray here to work with. So that's better. So, you know, your selection is very important. But again, look, this is not good. Like this, I, it got rid of all this stuff, but look at all this. And you see these little short videos and stuff and, and they come in and they get the little, you know, uh, the, the healing brush tool and they'll come in, they'll make it real big and they'll do this. You know, that's probably what they're using and they're trying to make it, you know, a little better. And it's just a mess, right? Like, come on, like this. And you get the beginner and, and I'm not by no means an expert. Like I'm somewhere between beginner and intermediate maybe with my Photoshop skills. You know, I can come in here, maybe kind of do this and do a shift F5 and try to, you know, just like I was before and have it kind of try and clean it up and it just gets worse. So... I'm like, someone throw me a bone in the comments. Like maybe I'm just using all these tools wrong. I don't know, but it's just a mess. So, all right. So I've got a, a new background. It's the, the original background is pristine. I hit control J to get a new copies, the background or the layer beneath it actually. Um, but in this case, it copies the background layer, uh, right to there. So that's the layer we're going to work on as this background copy. Right. And I'm going to come in here and just make a selection similar to my first one, right? Come around here and just do this, right? Okay, right click, select inverse, so just the background is selected. So let's right click and choose generative fill. And you know, I can try to put in um, a prompt to tell it, hey, fill the background in with gray. <laughs> And like, I don't know, my AI directions, my Kung Fu with that is 
apparently not very good because I see everyone post shorts and videos about how they type in whatever and it's almost perfection when it comes out. And it's, again, I don't think that's the case either. I think they've tried to put in prompts about 80 times till they finally got what they wanted. And that's what I usually do. And in, after the 80th time, a lot of times I still don't get what I want. So I'm just going to let it generate. I'm not even going to put it. So if you don't put anything, it's just going to generate it on its own and it's going to think about it. So that's pretty good, actually. I'm going to move this out of the way a little bit. That's much better than what we originally had. Like, there's just no riffraff around here. It's all pretty much mostly smooth. This is bothering me a little bit right here, where the shadow was, and there's like a light leaking through. I don't know. It tried to emulate what it thought the shadow would be. This is gets me a usable image. So the generative fill is already, I'm already liking it. It gives you variations, right? So we can go over here to this other one. And I actually, I like the shadow better on this one. It's still a little rough, but, um, you know, there's the way the light's falling off. It's darker in the corner. You know, I'm not sure if I like that. You know, I think all three of these are usable images, actually. And probably the smoothest one to me is the second one. Let's just do another generate and let it keep trying. Um, this, this is working pretty well. So very similar to the other ones, um, not as dark in the corner up here. Um, that one's a little rough. And that one's usable. Again, I like this first one. Let's do one more generate. So we're basically, it does three images every time. This is a usable image right here. I like this, um, you know, and I would probably just crop it down some more. We need to get her more in the middle, you know, probably right there. We'll hit enter and we've got a usable image, right? So I'm pretty happy with that. Oh.